1 Peter chapter 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers gathered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith and the salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein you greatly rejoice, Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Whom having not seen, ye love in whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed, that not of themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, and the corruptible things is silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world but was manifest in these last times for you. Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and to the unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as of the grass, and all glory of man as a flower of grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, and falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word by which the gospel is preached unto you. Chapter 2 Wherefore laying aside all malice and guile, and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. If so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices, acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief corner elect precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the builders disallowed the same is made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient wherein to also they were appointed but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, 
which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may be your good works, which they shall behold. Glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors and to them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God, that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and the gentle, but also to the froward, for this is thankworthy. If a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it? If when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently. But if when you do well, you suffer for it, you take it patiently. This is acceptable with God. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but he committed himself to him that judges righteously. Who his own self bare our sins in his whole body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but now are returned to the shepherd and the bishop of your souls. Chapter 3 Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, that they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear, whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair and the wearing of gold and the putting on apparel, but let it be hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. For after this manner in old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to the knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and then being heirs together in the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for ever, evil or railing for railing, <clears throat> but contrary wise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that you should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips, that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and the ears are upon open unto their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you? If you be followers of that which is good, but and if you suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that whereas they speak evil of you as of evil doers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, for the just, for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing within few, that is, eight souls were saved by water, and the like figure wherein to even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him.